Do you guys remember FPGA mining or have you even heard of it? You ever seen a hash board like this? Because you may think, oh, that's an ASIC miner hash board. An application specific integrated circuit. He's saying it again, miner. Yeah, so ASICs are purpose built machines. Custom computers, all they do is mine one specific cryptocurrency or really one specific mining algorithm. And hash altcoin, they made these. Okay. And this is a hash board, but it's an FPGA. So they wrote bit streams and other people in the community made bit streams. And these were originally super profitable and then not that profitable. And then they got some more algorithms that made them profitable again. And then they kind of fell out of profitability and then they kind of went back into profitability. And now they're not all that profitable anymore. This is specifically a board for the F1 Plus. We also have the Black Miner F2 here, but those aren't even the only FPGA miners. There's also PCIe cards like the CVP13 and the VCU and BCU 1525s and the Jungle Kitties and all kinds of other crazy stuff. You guys remember Squirrel? SQRL? One of the biggest busts in crypto mining history ever. They were like the next Butterfly Labs, but Butterfly Labs even kind of predated me. My name is Vosk. You're on the Voscoin YouTube channel. I love cryptocurrency and I really love mining. It's what got me into crypto. I've been doing this full time for over four years. I've learned a lot along the way about a lot of miners. I paid for some harsh lessons as well. So today we're just gonna be looking at what's the current status of FPGA mining? Is it still profitable? What gear are people using? Uh, and really like, why is nobody even talking about it anymore? So let's go ahead and run 10 seconds of tails, our resident Shiba Inu and Dogecoin, and the best SHIB in the world ever. I got a new haircut so y'all can stop making fun of me on YouTube. Also, watch out for scammers and impersonators. Their haircut's not as nice as mine and they're trying to look like me in the comments below or on social media. I'm not talking to you from a Gmail account and I don't want you to inbox me, bruh, on WhatsApp. He says that, all right, that's a quote. I, I don't always talk like that. Okay, so FPGA mining used to be all the rage, but when I go to the most, or one of the most popular FPGA sites out there and it was a hub for uh, bit streams, which power FPGA miners, right? Field programmable gate array is what that stands for. It's all sold out. And, and it's not like, oh, it's a cryptocurrency bull run. It's like all these shops kind of basically folded. And it wasn't just about reselling hardware. To be clear, there's bit streams because Nervos used to be mined with FPGAs and the same with Handshake and the same with Kadena. But these algorithms are now dominated by ASIC miners. And, you know, I want to explain something real quick. If you don't know, ASIC miners get a really bad rep, a rep, right? They have a bad reputation and rightfully so. Companies like Bitmain have really done nothing that great for the space. And Bitmain's one of the best of the worst. So there are many ASIC miner manufacturers who produce miners for millionaires and billionaires privately and their own personal mining farms and centralized mining and line their pockets. They put dollars in and they get a whole lot of dollars out and they dump those minted coins, truly devaluing proof of work as a blockchain consensus mechanism. Proof of work is mining. It means your coins mined. You know, these little miners, little custom computers or other mining hardware run your blockchain and mint your coins and process your transactions and build that digital ledger. Bitcoin is mineable. It's the original cryptocurrency and it's powered by proof of work, the SHA-256 mining algorithm. It was originally CPU mined, coined the term one CPU, one vote. So with each computer you ran, ideally one, then you have one vote and we build a decentralized network. But there's always an arms race with humans, especially when it comes to money. So what's more powerful than a graphic or than a CPU, spoiler, <clears throat> a graphics card. So then came GPU mining, and then came FPGA mining, and then came ASIC mining. Each piece of hardware I just talked about became more expensive and less versatile. A graphics card is multi-purpose hardware, right? And an FPGA is like a graphics card on steroid and really difficult to move. If you think of a graphics card, maybe like a Humvee, right? Or even cooler version, probably like a, a Warthog. Then an FPGA would be like a tank or a Scorpion. If you didn't get these Halo references, you disappointed me, son. But we're gonna move on from that. 
the point is that a tank may be more powerful, but it's harder to maneuver, right? But then after that tank is just an entire base or something, something near immobile, right? It's a mobile, but it's the most powerful production capacity. That's an ASIC miner. But my point here is the big downfall of FPGA mining wasn't the incredibly hard to get bit streams that were expensive and centralized by just a few developers, but some of those developers are actually some of the best influences in FPGA mining because there are many FPGA developers that will never release bit streams to the public. So it's a very closed door, back alley, almost like a fight club. You know, you don't talk about it. You don't talk about FPGA mining. Obviously, I was never really hip with the FPGA miners because they're like, yo, bro, you're going to make a video. Get the hell out of here. But I'm like, come on, man. Let me hang out with you. And they're like, shut up, dude. And then they beat me up. They didn't even give me a bit stream, but I took a couple. But <laughs> in all seriousness, my, my point here is that, you know, it, it truly is very closed doors. Um, there's an FPGA Discord server and also our Discord server has an active FPGA community. Links out below to join those. Um, but that's where you really find the best information and the best bit streams. These public sites offer you maybe like the second wave, the second opportunity. Sometimes it, it was very quick, but not always. Personally, I don't like FPGA mining. It's been my least profitable mining venture by far. I've killed it with CPU mining. I've killed it with GPU mining. I've killed it with ASIC mining. And I've not done well with FPGA mining. It's incredibly time consuming. If you're thinking mining is passive income, not really with FPGAs, not until you really get it honed in and set up. My name is Voss, by the way, if you don't know, there's a Voss Coin YouTube channel, check the background. I obviously love mining, I've been doing it full time for over four years. I've seen a lot of miners come and go, including a couple phases of FPGA miners. The FPGA miner that really almost made FPGA mining kind of mainstream, well, that was the hash altcoin black miner. If we look at their devices, the black miner F1, the black miner F1 plus, the black miner, uh, oh, the, the mini, there are two minis. There was the original mini, and then I guess it was just the mini F1 mini plus, F1 ultra, and the miner that most didn't see was the F2. And I have one, which you can see here, right next to my F1 Plus. I mean, it was just their next iteration. And what's interesting about these miners is that they took an FPGA miner, they took an FPGA chip, I should say. They slapped it into an ASIC miner case design, along with a control board to easily access it. You log into these remotely just like any other ASIC miner. So you get an IP address, you log in, and then from there, it is more difficult. You have to download bit streams, you have to upload those bit streams to the miner, and then you have to add, then you have to start them and then you begin mining. But it made it a lot easier to get into FPGA mining. It also means that you didn't have to build a full-blown FPGA mining rig that looks very akin to a GPU mining rig. Like the original VCU and BCU 1525s, they really blew it wide open, making like hundreds of dollars a day insane mining profitability but they're loud they're power hungry they're unstable you got to make sure you're doing it just right complicated to install potentially bit streams that aren't easy to install i mean with an asic miner it's plug and play you put in your address and you start mining and that is passive income and gpu miner miners have specific gpu mining software it makes it real easy a lot of these things led to the downfall of fpga mining other than the most closed community i've ever seen in cryptocurrency Wall Street bets and all those dudes with diamond hands are pumping AMC yet again as that stock hits new all-time highs. But today's video sponsor is a different kind of AMC token called amctoken.com. They just launched a token sale. But what do they even do? They're focusing on MMA promotion, mixed martial arts. And following the tales of recent fights, highlighting really everywhere, you couldn't escape the news. It even showed up on my fire TV. Uh, about Logan Paul and Mayweather, well, they're looking to create a secure, decentralized platform for MMA fans and allow investment in combat sports. And they claim to be the first MMA crypto tokenizing fights. Learn more at the link in the video description below. But when we click around, even on things like eBay, you don't see many for sale. I mean, there's an F2, but that's your boys. I got one in, honestly, I never really used it. It's just, it's so time consuming. It's, it's not fun. There's not a lot of coins to mine with it, but some coins have recently become more profitable. But even when you search FPGA miner, you don't get that many results. 
and you could technically say a bike will be is an FPGA, but it's kind of a stretch. It, it really is. I mean, it's an FPGA in essence, kind of like the black minor, but most people would put it in the category of simply an ASIC minor. You search one of the most popular cards, a B, or at least previously a BCU 1525, you don't get many results. You search a CVP 13, you don't get many results, right? So you search a VU 13P, you don't get any results. What happened to all the FPGA miners? Are they just crushing it on the down low and we don't even know? We look over at the basic profit calculator here on Hash Allcoin that hasn't released new stock in almost a year. Is it a chip shortage due to COVID? Or are they just killing it in-house and dealing with private partners? There's a lot of money, or there's a lot of people who want to spend money on crypto right now. If we look at the profit charts, a couple algorithms right here on the F1 Plus that ships with two boards, but you will see a third board in mine. So with two boards, it's supposed to make 10 bucks on this one, 11 bucks on that one, and $6 on this one, which is a very good return on a device that's a couple years old. And this is with a residential electric rate. Keep in mind, you take electric off the table, 14, almost 13, nine. And then you even look at things like Digibyte, arguably the most popular FPGA mined coin on their AutoCrypt algorithm. They specifically built for FPGA miners because Digibyte DGB is a multi-algorithm, which is a pretty freaking cool concept. And they've stuck with it and really innovated their uh, mining algorithm. You know, that's the most popular one. And it still gets pretty good profitability on there. You can't ever be mad about just stacking up uh, some DGB. That, that coin just refuses to die cycle over cycle. A lot of these other FPGA miners like the Imperiums, which, you know, there was a whole debacle around that. Uh, but then you have all these other FPGA cards, right? If a, if a black miner can do it, right? A hash altcoin black miner can mine it. That means these other FPGA mining cards can do that as well. So it's very likely that we are seeing these miners are just killing it with mining profitability on the low with just a couple coins and algorithms that they have left. Coins that used to be incredibly profitable for these, like mining Kadena, are no longer profitable because they get obliterated by ASIC miners. I mean, we have a mini KD box miner that mines Kadena that has much better mining profitability than a full-blown big machine like this. And that's due again to that specialization. A lot of people would think that FPGA mining is dead. It's not. It's actually super profitable if you've got the right gear and the right bit streams. But it's close to like, at least, what would be nice? We'll say it's at least a part-time job. It's not like, like making passive income mining cryptocurrency. The gear acquisition is hard with anything in this market, especially FPGAs. Then you need the bit streams and you will find that these are more than likely more finicky than some other mining rigs that you may be accustomed to if you're experienced with crypto mining. Personally, I hate FPGA mining. It's not fun and it's been my least profitable venture in cryptocurrency. But to answer the question, should I get into FPGA mining? Is FPGA mining still a thing? Is it dead? Is it profitable? What should I blah, blah, blah. And any, any question on FPGA mining is not dead. It is profitable, but please just understand what you are getting into. If you're looking for the most profitable venture in cryptocurrency, it's pretty simple. It's smashing that subscribe button, hitting the thumbs up, leave me a comment below. Let me know what questions you have. I'll try to answer them. Again, watch out for the scammers, spammers, and impersonators. Help me with some real comments down below. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. I just wanna be with